So there have been 51 players that have logged at least 15 pass rushing plays with a win or loss this postseason. Out of those 51 players, Von Miller and Aaron Donald rank first and second in pass rush win rate. The two actually accounted for 14 of Los Angeles's 17 pressures on Tom Brady in the divisional round. Clearly, the 49ers won't want to find themselves having to play from a pass-only situation with these two guys coming after Jimmy G. So, Mina, what are you watching in the trenches in this one, especially considering those numbers we just showed you? It's a shame that Swagoo's not on the show today because this is one of the all-time <laughs> big men matchups. Yeah. I mean, this is trench warfare at its finest. In particular, Trent Williams is playing for San Francisco uh, despite the injury versus Von Miller is like alien versus predator. Trent Ooh. Williams is the alien. Von Miller is the predator. I he like is having it a renaissance in Los Angeles. Ryan, when they made this trade, people questioned whether it was worth it, even though you have two Hall of Famers and Donald and Von Miller on the defensive line. But we have seen Von Miller play at a level that, frankly, I haven't seen him play since, like, two, 2018, mm. realistically. And I, that creates a tremendous challenge for San Francisco. But the issue for them, I believe, when they're in passing downs, is the other side of the offensive line. Uh, they won against Green Bay, but they were under siege uh, on the right side at, where Tom Compton plays right tackle. And I would not be surprised if Raheem Morris moves Aaron Donald over the way he did to take advantage of the Bucks missing Tristan Wirfs. There are just so many chess pieces yeah. on this defensive line that – it's really an incredible matchup, and to me, it comes down to not getting into passing downs. Yeah, I mean, that's a huge part of it, but it's also just about physicality. I think we love watching the play of Trent Williams in motion because it looks like the start of an elephant stampede because, shoot, freaking elephants are huge, and they're dang <laughs> athletic and powerful, and that's what it looked like with Trent Williams was coming in motion, and he just hit everybody. It didn't matter. He hit his own team. He everybody. hit the other team. He was moving Packers. He was moving 49ers. And that type of physicality has to rule the day for the San Francisco 49ers. And Mina said it. Stay out of obvious passing downs. You do that by inverting the line of scrimmage, allowing Eli Mitchell, uh, Debo Samuel, to create big plays on first and second down. So you have Jimmy G where he can go play action pass. He can get to the boot. He can keep the football inside yes. the numbers where he's much better than outside. It's all about making sure your quarterback is secondary. This is not a bash Jimmy G se uh, session, but it's just true. He is not the focal point of this offense. He is not the primary reason that this team wins football games. They do win games without him. I mean, they do win games with him, but they sometimes can't win them without him. And so for Jimmy G, you want him to stay healthy. You want him to stay secure. You want him to stay in a place where he can ball. You saw in the second half, they were down 17 nothing. They didn't get out of character. They didn't start just throwing the football around yeah. the yard. They didn't become the Buffalo Bills or the Kansas City Chiefs. They still ran it, went with play action, and then when Jimmy G was asked to make plays late in the game, he did that. That's the style of play coach Kyle Shanahan wants to play, and in order to do that, you have to dominate the line of scrimmage with physicality. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.